Hello YouTube, Trying up here, and today we're back with some more Fire Emblem Three Houses. So basically last episode we just did a little bit of fiddling around with some stuff. We did one extra battle, and uh, I had one battle point left, and I didn't feel like repeating the same battle on camera. So I said it real quick off camera, got some people leveled up, and uh, yeah. So now, this should be the end of the month. Uh, we'll do some certifications, I believe. I think you can do them at level 10. I'm not positive on that. And then, uh, yeah, we'll do the story mission, I think, is the next thing. I can't remember. I, I'm trying to remember which story mission. First, we have a birthday, which could be a tea time. Uh, yeah, we might as well. We'll do a tea time with Claude. Can't really gain too much from it, but... Oh, I'm sorry. Did I make you wait? I... Thanks. Tastes great. Be right up his alley. Right. Uh, you think? That ain't Claude. Of course, my first uh, tea time would be bad. <laughs> That's fine. Like I said, there's not a whole lot to gain ah, from building I'm afraid Sword Claude. too long. Thanks for the tea. Let's plan to do this again sometime. Okay. Story mission time. First. Yep. So we have everyone at level 10 except for these two. So. Let's look at pilot first. Looks like there aren't any sure fire. Could do this one, but couldn't do it for a little while, so we might as well stick around and master the soldier skill anyway. Well, she's almost there, but do either Cavalier, Brigand, or, or Pegasus Knight. Wow, she could become a guaranteed mage, but not a guaranteed cavalier. Let's actually work on... Hmm, I don't know if I have anyone that's mastered their current classes. It's an interesting look for Ferdinand. That's what he's going to be. I, I don't know if it's worthwhile to go ahead and get their class skills or not. Hers isn't she's not anywhere close to hers. I don't remember what their mastery skills are. Mm. I could just go ahead and make her a mage. I think we'll go ahead and do that. I passed things to you, Professor. I have success. Actually, I 
actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop for just a second because I want to look and see which classes it's worthwhile to go ahead and stick around and get their mastery skills for. So I, hang on, just a second. Okay, we're back. I looked at them real quick. I didn't realize that the the uh, beginner classes, the only things you get for mastering those is like the movement skills, like swap, reposition, drawback, and uh, shove. So I'm not gonna worry about that too much right this minute. Does anybody have? And if I decide later that I feel like I would benefit from those, I can always come back and change it back and <laughs> change it back to the beginner classes for a little bit. So let's go ahead and buy a couple more of these. Just for curiosity, which one? Okay. I could go ahead and go to the magic route with her and she could still continue to use her regular weapons. I'm really, I'm just curious about this more than anything. Yeah, why not? As expected. I'm gonna wait and use the dark seal on him. It might have been better to make him a brigand now that I think about it. Or failed. brigand. Mm. He would get death blow, which would be a lot more helpful than unarmed, but oh well, we'll stick with this for now. Let's go ahead and make Bernie a flyer. Sylvain as a mage as well. Huh, okay. No big deal, really. <laughs> His stats are so balanced across the board. Okay, I th think that's all I'm gonna do. Like I said, Hubert, we just are gonna wait on. I'm gonna wait on changing my class until I can get to the. Well, yeah, I think I'll probably end up going uh, Pegasus Knight 2. That or, like I said, Brigand. I gotta work on the axe skill first. We'll see. But, anyway, enough of that for now. Let's go ahead and go to the story mission. The goddess's right of rebirth is about to begin. Are we going to move forward with our plan? I believe so. How confident are you in our theory, Professor? Very confident. No one's intuition is perfect. It's ridiculous not to have doubts. All that True. matters is how our enemy makes their move, not how our teacher feels about the plan. You seem a mite too relaxed for my liking. The goddess's right of rebirth is about to begin. While we are in the Goddess Tower, we are relying on you to secure the locations that are lacking in defense. May I let you in on something, Professor? My brother can be a bit... 
palace. He told me that he was concerned about you, and hinted that perhaps you would be better off patrolling a coffin. <laughs> that was said in jest, Flame, and in confidence. Please just remain by my side and do not cause any more trouble. As a professor, you would do well to remember that it is your duty to guide your students down the path of righteousness. Please excuse us, everyone. We shall see you again after the ceremony has concluded. A coffin. <laughs> How fascinating. Hurry, Professor. Whoa. We must find a place to hide where we can guard the stairs to the Holy Mausoleum. If the enemy moves as predicted, we should be able to cut off their escape path and capture every last one of them. I am ever so grateful. Thanks. Thank you. Tea party enthusiasts. I mean, those two are the ones that had birthdays this month, so I guess that kind of makes sense. Let's throw us right into it. Alright, so we can bring everyone, so that's good. There's the old Death Knight. This Joker. So the thing about this one is we have, I think, 25 turns. And I think it ends if we take him out. To him or the Death Knight. Actually, I don't think killing the Death Knight is required. But you do get a good item from it, so I will try my best to. Unwanted guests have come to visit. And those central church dasters have spotted us. Buy me some time while I open the seal on the casket. I'm on it. Our enemy appears to be after the tomb of Saint Saros in the back. Are they attempting to steal her bones? It would be best to defeat them before they achieve their aim. 25 turns. Look closely. There are contraptions of some sort on the floor. Pay attention to our enemy's weapons, and advance while attacking them from advantageous positions. So the contraptions are just special tiles, right? Right. So just environmental boosts. Alright. Ferdinand von Eich. I don't know if you can hear the echo in here. You are not. Always getting stronger. I will prevail. I'm on it. As you wish. That 
That's my cue. Battles. Put me in there. Stay focused. I will get the victory. Just, I'm assuming she can finish him up. If oh wow, You're too strong, Pedro. Well, she can just claim this one, I guess. Flame spirit protects me. And scatter these fools. I don't take commands or waste my time on weaklings. That knight is a powerful enemy. Let's do all we can to avoid him. Nah. We can take him. There's so okay, so there are okay, there are two chests. One up in this corner. So we'll, we'll get that one with the Edel Guard, I think. And burn it out of the other one. Alright, so this archer is gonna make things a little difficult. Oh, yes, there's a chest key though. Oh, he does have. Does he have a black magic void equipped? No. I forgot to check their abilities. He should still be okay. We'll do it this way. That way they're split up a little better. splitting them apart. Challenges me. Caspar, take these two. Hopefully, he can at least double the axe guy. Not double him. Can I go up and 
neglected this side a little bit. down so easily. When it's expected. than this as long as it makes me stronger As expected. It's 
seems I've exhausted this topic. So, yeah, having great position on her will be kind of helpful to have, I suppose. Not misplace my heart. Right. I thank you. Simple logic. Actually, getting some strength, you might actually be able to use that lane. Reinforcements haven't arrived. Hmm. If they approach from behind. Yeah, yeah. Man, these mages have like a truck. What a jump! to pass me. I can fight through anything. Watching me. <laughs> Alright, well, I can't move anyway, so. I'm sorry. Let's say two damage. Oh! 
Those cat sparkies are going to speed. What a jump! You should be in pretty good shape. I am Ferdinand von Eyre. He should be okay. All right. Should I have held back? Such power dwells within. Seriously. Hello. I won't go down so easily. Speed is 15. What gives? So much better. I must be getting pretty close to mastering the right class. Oh, thank you. I thought I was dead. I can improve too, you know. Hey, 
turn. <laughs> She's gonna be softening him up for something. Yeah, done yet? Amazing. So I don't know if I want to use her for that. I need to remember to go through and reassign the move around abilities. Oh yeah. Okay, so those are combat arts. I thought they were like abilities, so that makes them a lot less useful given the limited combat art slots. Concerned about those reinforcements or not? It's really weird that I can't even cross this. Bernadetta. to there but take it now you know your limits What is uh, Lindhart's resistance? 15. So they're both pretty good for tanking this guy. Get him a <laughs> Lance experience too. And I didn't even enjoy it. I never mind, I can't reach him. I don't know what I'm talking about. Huber has eyes, it's just it's over here. Now 
Now's my chance. Do you have to do? I have a feeling in hard mode, they're gonna use gambits a lot more. I don't think it's everyone around me too. It is decided. Ah, oh, it's the worst. Okay, so we gotta take these guys out. Focus on the people that are still level 10. So most of them can't move. is having a hard time. Please don't miss. Another skill master. There we go. Huh. Victory. Practice does make perfect. Now the question is, am I able to even think about taking him to death knight? The good news is I've invested a lot into Still raring to go. Uh, magic for a lot of people. So it's very possible. Also, how many turns do I have left to work with? That's not what I meant. There we go. It's turn number 12, so I've still got 13 turns. I think he has like unlimited distant counter, doesn't he? Uh, that wouldn't go very well. Man, he just he hits way too hard. I don't think there's really anybody that can hit him without dying in return. I mean, Ferdinand can, but he'll be lucky to do two damage and he's on it. Oh, it's not a heal tile, but I don't think I would be able to whittle him down fast enough. Either way. Yeah, if he were going to do that much damage, 
Guaranteed dead. Dude, I don't know. There are combat arts, I guess. I could try. Fading blow sends it backwards, correct? Like moths to a flame. Of course. At least he missed in return. I told you that if you fled, I would not chase you. Oh no, he's moving now. <laughs> I didn't know that happened. That didn't. I don't think that happened in uh, normal mode. That's extra bad. He is guaranteed to kill anyone he goes after. That might be... Without using the turn wheel, that might be the only way for this to end without uh, casualties. Have Bernie just go finish this guy. You're too late. And honestly, the point I'm at right now, I don't think I have much use for the Dark Seal. Um, it may have been something that would come in handy later. But if I could have cheesed him, I think I, I could have done it. But since I can't, like, cheese him down, there's no way. I will just have Brenda to finish this off. 89%. I'll do this just so it's guaranteed. This will get her the MVP for sure. Anywhere I can hide. It's no use. A seal is broken. You can't. Huh? A sword. sword is I see what a pleasant surprise see ya uh, he got away that sword the best. why is it that's the sword that was in the casket seems to be shimmering almost as though is the intruder here oh looks like you have this under control you, round up any stragglers. Will do. Guess part of that I would not have guessed. Neat. Alrighty. So that went extra long just because that's a long battle. So, it'll be a long episode, but that's fine. But, um, I'm actually gonna... As oh, all darn it. you have committed a breach of faith, the Archbishop will now pass judgment. Inciting a kingdom noble to rebel. Unlawful entry. The attempted assassination of the Archbishop. An attack on the Holy Mausoleum. It is unnecessary to go on, followers of the Western Church. What? We have nothing to do with the Western Church. You have already been identified. 
Please spare us your second-rate theater. Dishonoring a holy ceremony is worthy of death for a member of the Church. You are well past the hope of redemption. If you have any grace remaining, you will willingly offer your life as atonement for this crime. No! This isn't what we were told would happen! We've been deceived! It's no use arguing. Whatever your excuse, the punishment stands. May your souls find peace as they return to the Goddess. Wait! Please! The Goddess would never forgive you for our execution! Monster! We know you've already slaughtered many of our fellow brethren like this. This concludes the investigation. Please remove these poor lost souls from my sight. That's that, I suppose. The assassination attempt, the attack on the Holy Mausoleum. It was all the Western Church's doing. That masked knight who led the attack somehow managed to disappear without a trace. The Church of Saros clearly isn't as unified as it would hope to appear. It seems the Bishop of the Western Church was always opposed to the Church being ruled centrally from Garrig Mach. Perhaps they hope to remove the Archbishop in order to completely strip the Central Church of its authority. Oh, that's right. Geralt mentioned that you were raised without any exposure to the Church. In order to function more efficiently, the Church of Saros is split into several smaller entities. The Central Church is the largest, and leads the organization from Garrig Mach. The Western Church extends from Castle Gaspar, where Lord Lenato rebelled into the Far West. They can be found just beyond the most renowned stronghold of the kingdom, the fortress city of Arian Road. It seems the Knights have been tasked with subduing the leaders of the Western Church. We may be given the opportunity to help them with their mission. To think, our own professor was born in Fodlan, and yet knew nothing of the Church. <laughs> I never imagined explaining something so basic to an instructor of mine. Yeah, yeah. It's strange that the Archbishop would ask someone like that to lead her students. There's clearly more to that decision than we know. Lady Rhea is pretty scary sometimes, but to execute that whole group just like that? It seems harsh, even for her. If one of us does something bad, I wonder what she would do to us! Professor, do you agree with the Archbishop's actions? There you are, Professor. It seems Lady Rhea would like a word with you. Come with me. Come on, Seth, I need to end the episode. Let me get to a stopping point, man. The Archbishop lives. Not that I had ever placed much faith in those swine from the Western Church. I have news. Both good and bad. The remains of Saros were not in a tomb. However, something else was. The Sword of the Creator. Ah, the weapon wielded by that thief, the King of Liberation. Thief? Huh. At any rate, it is now in the hands of the Academy's new professor. I doubt you will be surprised to hear that the Crest Stone had already been removed from the sword when it was found. Hmm. As expected. It would be foolish to keep both in the same location. There's more. The professor was able to awaken the sword's true power. Even without the Crest Stone, the sword glowed red. The professor's crest is compatible. There is no mistaking it. Absurd. Using a relic without its crest stone should be impossible. The King of Liberation's bloodline should not even... Hmm. They must be allowed to keep it, for now. I do not have enough information about the Professor to act. As for your request, I assent. The Death Knight is at your command. Use him well. Good. I believe I will enjoy this a great deal. I cannot thank you enough for defeating those invaders in the Holy Mausoleum. And especially for protecting the Sword of the Creator. That sword is one of the hero's relics, and the most precious artifact in the Church's possession. It is also a weapon of terrifying power. For now, I will entrust the sword to you. Please, use it wisely. Lady Rhea, wait! Do you truly mean to give the Sword of the Creator to this... Stranger! 
Surely it is not the sort of thing one hands over so readily, even to someone who has the ability to wield it. If someone like Nemesis were to appear again, all of Voldlin would be consumed by war. Nemesis, the King of Liberation. He is an ancient king of mankind who was defeated by Seros over a thousand years ago. When Fodlin was attacked by wicked gods, it is said that the goddess gifted Nemesis with the sword of the creator. Nemesis used that sword to defeat the wicked gods, saving all of Fodlin. Henceforth, he was dubbed the King of Liberation. However, his power began to corrupt him until he himself turned to the darkness. Saint Seros was forced to destroy him. Lady Rhea, I beg you to reconsider. Given a little more time, we could more accurately assess this stranger's abilities. No. I have faith, Seleth. Faith that our friend here will not be corrupted by wickedness. Since the death of Nemesis, none have been able to wield the Sword of the Creator. Now, after all those long years of being sealed away, it has returned and found a new master. I understand. As you wish, Lady Rhea. There you have it, Professor. See that you do not betray the trust the Archbishop has seen fit to bestow upon you. The Sword of the Creator? The King of Liberation? Each tale is more confusing than the last. And I really can't read that Rhea at all. That sword is clearly precious. So why is she so keen to gift the thing to you? Is that a fact? I, I don't know. feel as though we have become entangled in a mystery. And there is one more thing that has been plaguing me. The Sword of the Creator. It somehow feels distinct from other relics we have seen. Such as the one that... Oh goodness, what was her name? Cat... Cat... Uh... Yes, her! The Sword of the Creator is different from her Thunderbrand in one key way. It bears a hole where something should have been, but is no more. I despise not knowing what is going on. It... it frightens me. And yet, I place my trust in you. I must, whatever comes to pass. Please swear to cut a path that is your own. So based on all that, like, it's obvious Balth is somehow related to Nemesis or, or something. I, I see that's the thing I want to. I haven't really like read up much on it, like story wise what's going on with Violet's background, but I'm, that's why I'm trying to do the um, the church path this time because it's supposedly it's supposed to teach you a little bit more about it. So I'm eager to find out a little more once we get to that point. Um, but yeah, so this episode's definitely gone a little long, so I'm gonna end it here. So as always, thanks everybody for watching, and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.